apart from the cost part, right? Uh, India being a vast talent pool, right? So we have a the scaling capability and uh, the trust which we have achieved in the from the past, right? The from the past success stories that was the couple of factors which led us to make sure that okay, in, we need to move to India. Uh, the other things which I felt is that we have been working with the global clients and all the offshore centers are in India, right? So why can't we be the close proximity to it? So that's how we got into it. Uh, the innovation for, uh, footprint, uh, I would say uh, all the product development and everything has been done and driven from India now. So product portfolio, if you ask me whether we uh, are doing the actual core R&D work from India, yes. We have started not being the back office, but being the actual development center from India itself. And uh, that gives us a lot of uh, factors which made us believe that, okay, India can deliver and that's what we have been doing into it. So uh, to sum it up, uh, we have been into all stream. So it's not only the R&D focus or only into the customer success. We have a subset of a global company in India right now. And uh, as you touched base on the uh, AIs and this thing, so the, we have been coming up with the agentic AIs, which is a very popular thing, which has been happening for the cybersecurity world and the need of an hour for everyone. So we have that development capability and support capability from India itself. So that kind of things which we have been doing. The skill part, I would raise one more thing is that, okay, when we started our footprint in India and we did face certain issues with the, uh, the talent crunch, which we talk about for the cybersecurity being niche area. So we have been working with a lot of universities uh, to enable them and get those guys in the industry while they are coming instead of zero, they are coming with the one level of uh, expertise into that. So that's what we have been doing to build up the knowledge and the uh, area into the cyber security. You touched a very uh, uh, nerve on this part, right? So when we talk about the uh, how we are making sure that, okay, we are not the just a back office for the checkmark development center is the having the global leaders from here. So one is that, okay, when we are having a global leader, it doesn't make only the back office as well. Secondly, uh, we are communicating the success stories, what we have been doing from India. And the third is that all this sums up and we got the buying of the leadership. When they see that, okay, the things are being delivered, things are being delivered as same as what has been done from the global centers, they don't find any differentiation between India and the global team as such. Instead of just nagging that okay we are not getting the talent we thought okay why not to take one step and shift left and go to the universities understand what the curriculum they have been there other than this so, so we are i mean partner with a lot of university i'm on, on their board of advisory where we are working and saying that the curriculum is meeting the expertise or the the knowledge which gap which we have so to bridge that gap we have been working with them uh, we have our own learning platform which is called as code bashing which we have been giving free licenses to the university so that the guys are going and learning on that platform and there is no differentiation between a, a student and a person who is already into the corporate world. So they are getting that step as such. So uh, just to add, uh, it's the uh, been part of the ET Surge event and uh, where we are meeting a lot of global leaders and seeing that, okay, that the things have been driven from India. And it's a thanks to ET uh, team to bring everyone together and sharing this knowledge with us.